Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic, the 1986 Buick Open. 17th hole, 192 yards, Doug Tool with a five iron. Little or no breeze. Come on. And that's a very good shot. After a 312 yard drive on the par 516, Love has a two wood in his hands from 268 yards out. <laughs> we better look up, watch out up here in the tower <laughs> if he catches this. That's 240 oh, to the front of the right green. Again. That's going right. Way right. Ow. Oh. Ow. He's taking right in the back again. <laughs> to 15. Crenshaw to move further ahead. Right on. Crenshaw leaves it short but maintains his one shot lead to 18. J.C. Sneed. Second shot coming in. 160 yards out. He needs birdie and then has to wait because this will, birdie here will put him to 17. Good shot for him. He's a little left to right player. Should like this pin position very well. Right at it. Good shot. Good shot. The leader, Ben Crenshaw, back on the tee of the 16th hole, 580 yards, par five. Three eagles here today. Danny Edwards hold it from 100 yards out. Jody Mudd did the same from 50 yards out. Steve Jones is the only man who has been on the green in two, and he sank a 35-foot putt for eagle. I don't think that's what Crenshaw is right now. All he's going, there's four bunkers on the right-hand side of this fairway. Ben plays the ball right to left, telling him it inside those bunkers. Hook it if he really catches one. That was just a nice sign. Appears to be perfect. And Crenshaw in search of his first victory since that uh, emotional win of the 1984 Masters. To the 17th green. Duck tool to tie the lead. Left to right break. And you can't get much closer than that. Now I don't blame him for being a little miffed. So Doug Tool will remain at 17 under, just one behind Ben Crenshaw. <laughs> to the 16th. Davis Love, the third line, to get to 17 under. Burn, this is a tough putt to read. Davis has been looking at it now for a couple of minutes. The hole's tilted to the left, and the break looks like it wants to go to the right. So from there, I got no idea. So let's just watch. Davis Love III has missed some birdie opportunities today, and this disappointing par keeps the rookie two shots behind Crenshaw to the 18th. A very big, big putt for J.C. Sneed. That was a perfect pin placement for him. Patty likes to go a little bit left to right, and usually I said yes. I thought the hole would be cut far back left in the corner, but they put it to the right, and everybody has a favorite pin placement for him that what J.C. would like to go after, but. He has got a putt that's been very deceiving from that side. For birdie to go 17 under. I would say no more than 10 feet. And this to go 17, and then he'll be in the clubhouse and just have to sit and wait and see what the Crenshaw and Tool do. Great birdie that was all the way. Perfect drive, excellent second shot, and a putt right in the middle. And that's how you make three and make 66. 17 under. To 16, where Crenshaw has found himself in a heap of trouble after his errant three wood found the trees to the left of the green. 
I had an awful problem with a root. I don't know if it was could see V, but I had a root about a six inches from the from the ball and in front of me. And I had to keep that. <laughs> I had a, another tree five feet, uh, six feet in front of me that I had to miss by about eight inches. He's got it look like about an eight iron, real high rough. He's going to try to power it into this rough that people haven't walked on and, try, and then try to kill it on the green. Although I had a pretty good lie. I said if I miss the root, you know, maybe I can get it on the green. It just came out just right. Is that any good? <laughs> He missed the pass the rough. He missed the rough. Yeah. Yeah, just put him in the trees all day and see what we can do. Kenny, Kenny he, may, uh, tips. he may be a candidate to help you on the tips. He's done more tips in nine holes than I've done all year. I'm... I'm really caught by the composure that he's showing through this back nine. I mean, this has got to mean the world to Ben to come back and, and uh, <laughs> just, be in a position to win. But. He's just shaking his head. Just, all you can do when you're doing that, you just hang on to the club, and, and uh, someone uh, mystically is guiding you along the way. Doug Toole to tie. Oh, boy, what an important putt. Oh, of all the good round he played today, I mean, that is, he was six under, had that for 65, and he's made a lot of those, but that one is the one he really wanted. Crenshaw now, after uh, a great shot from the trees to the left, with uh, aspirations of a little breathing space. He can close the cabin door with this one right here. Be nice to have two to play with a two shot lead. Tough putt to read from right here, Vern. See how he does. The breathing space is not there. It's a decent five, especially in light of his problems after his second shot, but. Uh, Having pulled off the near miracle, he would have been more than content with a birdie four. At 18, love for par to finish in a fourth place tie. The rookie from North Carolina, who spent most of the week near the top of the leaderboard, continues to impress. He's got to watch this on the left side. That's where he watched it. Yeah, that's it. If the putt, you, you see it come on from on one side, side, move to the left, and you get past the hole, and it won't move back to the right on you. 65, 67, 70, and 71. Total of minus 15, a disappointment, I'm sure, but still part of the learning process. And that's, you have not heard the last of him right there. To the 17th green, Crenshaw with a difficult 40-footer for birdie at the par 3. Well, I'm sure that... Uh, as he's against the collar of rough, uh, it's a difficult position for him. All he's thinking about now is making three and getting out of here, I think. That is uh, no bargain against that collar of rough. You see it there, and I have to take the putter back. Higher than he normally does. He's left himself a long way short. The only good thing about it is that it's below the hole. He's going to have to aim it on, I would say, on the right-hand edge of the hole. What a lovely stroke. That's a very important putt in the life of Ben Cranshaw. Now the conclusion of PGA Tour Classic, the 1986 Buick Open. Ben Crenshaw has only to par the final hole to win the Buick Open of 1986. And to 18 we go. And Crenshaw now very well knowing that par is a winner and he doesn't care about being in a playoff. He's 0 for 5 in playoffs. 
and he's only looking at one number, and that's four. And it'll be set up by the drive. Kenny Knox will be next to Martin. That's Crenshaw back in the field. And you see the, that's a great reaction. Right down the center, right center of the fairway. He'll leave himself probably close to about 175. Eight iron. Well, with eight iron and 165, another thing, it won't be past the flag. Yes. So I don't believe it's going to be right of the flag or past the flag. It has to catch the center of the green, maybe 30 feet. He went over the top of it, but he, he played as safe as it could do. So he left himself 45 feet away. Overcoming adversity is the mark of a champion. And Ben Crenshaw, who was diagnosed with a hyperactive thyroid in 85, has made a remarkable return in 86. Now, Gentle Ben is two putts away from his first title since the 1984 Masters. Well, the seas of fans have parted, and Crenshaw has made it to 18. A little bit uphill more than most players have thought. T.C. Chin was just off the green a little bit. We saw him leave it almost five feet short. Oh! Got to hit it. Hit it. That's a good lag right there. With his stroke and his touch, he can handle that very nicely. His only top 10 finish since he won the Masters was in this year's U.S. Open. You got it. You got it. You want to be able to have a chance to win. You want to work yourself into a place where if you have a chance to win, you know, and then you're doing something. And then to have a chance to win and then darn it, win it, then you really feel good. In 2002, Ben received golf's ultimate honor, induction into the World Golf Hall of Fame. Golf history is such a big part of my life, and I, it's, it's, it's fascinating to know that this night, I've, I've thought all this night about the people I've enjoyed watching, and I can't believe I'm being part of it. Ben Crenshaw, one of golf's finest gentlemen, a champion again at the 86 Buick Open.